Hello everyone, Amanda here, and I'm back with another Crock-Pot recipe. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make my Crock-Pot minestrone soup. This recipe is vegetarian, plant-based, and high in fiber. It can also easily be made vegan or gluten-free with just a couple simple swaps. Minestrone is a classic in the soup world, and for good reason. Not only is it delicious, but it also packs an impressive amount of vegetables into just one bowl. If you're looking to add more vegetables, fiber, and plant-based protein to your diet, this is the recipe for you. So let's get started. To start, we've got a lot of vegetables to chop. Dice your onion, peel and chop your carrots, chop your celery, chop your potatoes, trim and chop your green beans, and mince your garlic. To save time, you can chop up most of these veggies beforehand. I'd wait on the potatoes until you're ready to cook, however, as they'll turn brown if they're exposed to air for too long. Potatoes also become sweeter when refrigerated, so it's best to save cutting these up until right before you need them. I like to use a kitchen shears to trim and chop my green beans. It's quick and easy, and personally, I think it makes the process more fun. Next, we're going to measure out all of the spices we need for our soup. Into a small dish, measure out one teaspoon salt, one teaspoon dried oregano, one teaspoon dried basil, and one half teaspoon ground black pepper. Now it's time to put everything into the crock pot. Into your crock pot, add your onion, carrots, celery, potatoes, green beans, garlic, crushed tomatoes, petite diced tomatoes, vegetable stock, bay leaf, and seasonings. Give it a good stir, cover, and cook for six to eight hours on low, or three to four hours on high. Once your cook time is almost over, it's time to chop our zucchini. Zucchini doesn't take very long to cook, so we'll be adding this in right near the end. Then, drain and rinse your canned kidney and cannellini beans. Once your cook time is up, add the zucchini, kidney beans, cannellini beans, and pasta to the crock pot. Cover and cook for an additional 15 minutes on high, or until the pasta is tender. Once your pasta is tender, your minestrone soup is done and ready to be served. Enjoy! If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to let me know by hitting that like button. A link to the full recipe can be found in the description box below. If you try this recipe, be sure to let me know how you liked it and any changes that you've made in the comment section. Want to get hooked on health? Subscribe to Hook'em on Health here on YouTube and follow me on my other social media accounts. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all back here again next time.